ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to yet another stream this time we do have some commentary my name's jack i'm here with our broadcaster and commentator as well ranky how you doing bro yeah very good thank you how are you doing i'm doing good i'm doing good finally we are watching the last games i think tomorrow we got some more games which will be the actual last games but this is the last round of the major rankings too and we'll be going into the major rankings three which is the more prominent uh one everyone likes to enter as it does have the acid paint for the winning two teams but anyways today we are watching anti mm players which are on the red side versus phoenix i introduce uh both teams since they got kind of tricky names but so on the red side for anti mm players we have no white eptor scorn style and a uh, 09 and then on the opposite side we have ivy's masia uh kura pika miss christmas uh we'll just say the english pronunciation which is j lop so yeah interesting match already and we are watching highland yeah and it looks like phoenix is with four yeah, indeed. So let's hope they um, will find a fifth player. Yeah, this isn't going to be a great start, especially on this map. You want to have all of your players on that, uh, on both teams, actually. But there is being a pull made by the red team, which is anti MM players. And looking like a capture, they will be taking out OD for the Viking as well. And this is a really good capture early on, a minute into the game on Highland. Many people who uh, play esports would know that Highland is one of those maps where you really need um, all your players on board, not waste your overdrives, and really focus uh, players individually. But nice Hunter OD there from the red side um, as well. So I don't know. Like, uh, What would you say prediction-wise, uh, you think, just straight off the bat from watching this? Yeah, right now a big advantage for uh, anti-MM players, and that's mainly because they are with five players, of course. Um, yeah, exactly. But they are definitely um, they are definitely making good use of the first minutes. Of course, you don't know when the fifth player or if the fifth player is joining in, and they are making very good use for it uh, with it only uh, with early game advantage. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, exactly. I mean, for sure, we do have some, some different combinations on both these teams as well. We're seeing the Viking from the red side use Smokey, where on the opposite side they're using ammo. Yeah, I feel like Smokey is by far the better uh, option on this map. Um, maybe you yeah. disagree, but the range is big. You no, know, no, it's... I agree, I agree. Yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, its overdrive can be a little bit peak, but talking about its overdrive, we do see him use. He does take out two players, and also Scorn is going to use his uh, Crusader OD, and they do manage to pull. But going back to the um combinations we're seeing also both these paladins use different combinations as well we're seeing the rico pala which can see capturing the flag their second flag and on the opposite team we do have a paladin tesla and also uh the viking took that od i believe for the red team yeah he did he did so that's pretty much a use and take he did so pretty good for anti-mm players exactly and yeah, you're definitely right. Having a play down is a massive disadvantage. An overdrive coming in here and out on Eris really... Less. It did do some damage to Mr. Christmas and also Kuro Pika. Um, but I'm not sure if they will manage pull. But looking like they do have good focus on all these players. And they will be able to pull this flag. But still four players down. I don't think they're going to be making a comeback anytime soon. And uh, this is quite unfortunate. Yeah, it is, and they didn't try to delay the game uh, at the start at all. They are just, yeah, they started pretty much directly at the at the official time. Um, so if you have hope for a fifth player joining in, you try to delay it as much as possible, you know, and ask for a tech pause between this round and the second round. And they are not yeah, doing exactly. that right now. So let it doesn't seem oh, like you they can't, have hope. You can't do a tech pause on the first round, actually. No, true, but you can so, have an extra restart. You can delay it by by yeah, just not yeah, leaving. Yeah, true. <laughs> True, try to, true, true. to get as much time possible you know it's, it's dirty but it's uh it's how it works i mean teams do it all the time so yeah <laughs> it's true it's like uh um yeah how do you say that with uh just join your enemy if you want to beat them do exactly. it yourself as well exactly i mean talking about enemies here we are 
they might as well be free players because their hunter on the blue side is lagging a lot, I just noticed. Vikings going to use and take his OD as well. Yeah, we see J-Lock, uh, J-Lopk. Uh, joining back in, but that's the hunter playing fa player facing a lot of uh, of connection issues, and that's uh, three is like uh, not possible, right? You you need at least four players on the map. Yeah. Hmm. Tricky situation for Phoenix, and definitely not the last round they hoped for. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know what the Esport referees will say after this if they say that uh, technical defeat will be given, but we shall see because we're seeing the hunters not actually playing that often. He just paused there, and there is going to be another capture. And it looking like if this is what we're going to be seeing the whole game, then uh, it's going to remain uh, an indefinite win for uh, anti MFM players. Yeah, 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 indeed, indeed. Yeah, I'm very curious if we will see a tech pass between round two, one and round two that will give me hope that they still hope for f a fifth player joining in. And if they just yeah going straight to round two, then it's just uh, a long day for both of these teams. Yeah, true. I mean, I hope so because I can't lie. I just saw the worst gameplay from the red team here. Um, their Viking didn't need to drop the flag to style because it's since style was going to die anyways and then the Crusader wasted his OD there's not much communication going on they're just kind of lucky with uh, with them being a player down and also not working as a team as much we are seeing that the Paladin for anti mm is going to be taking his Eda here as well so combinations are changing up a little bit uh, also, Mr. Christmas went from Shaft to Thunder, as you notice that he's not inflicting as much uh, damage to the opposite team. Um, at least this way he can defend a bit better and also attack. Yeah, good point. Increase the range, try to have some more map control, even while being with 4. But this is just one easy pull here by, by Scorn. We use his OD. Um, yeah, mate. If it was 5 versus 5, it would be enclosed because the driving skills from NTMM players are not really there. It's also like they are not really playing together, what you just said, indeed. It's yeah, I don't know. They're getting a bit lucky. It's like we're watching a matchmaking game. But you know what? We're here for it. Like I said, this is the last um, round in the uh, Armour 2. So it's not, it's not uncommon to see these kind of teams which... Um, don't have as much experience, play not as well as we were used to. Obviously, we're used to watching games like uh, Red Notice or uh, Deviants or all those other teams, you know, mm -hmm. um, which have a bit more communication and uh, coordination. But th this game is for sure <laughs> something teams can look upon and be like, you know what, this is what we can't do in official games and whatnot. Uh, so it's not bad that we're... Uh, that we're watching this and also it's not bad for these teams obviously everyone everyone's not gonna win i mean the team arson didn't do too great to be honest and it is how it is. it is what it is true 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 but it's a big difference from the game we have just seen in the seventh round to be honest <laughs> that was a very entertaining yeah. game um I, I didn't i didn't manage to watch it but what uh what was the outcome actually yeah it was still only three rounds uh all for ducks on fire but Flash managed to capture some pools, and um, I don't know if you heard of the player, but Typo from Ducks on Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he really impressed us, me and uh, and Avoid as well. It's uh, oh wow. He had All some right. insane shots, and uh, for teams, uh, indeed, for teams that are playing right now, it's very uh, it can be very useful to watch a stream back. We also saw some some spilled ODs by Ducks on Fire last stream, and it's very easy to yeah. to see that when you're rushing a game back. So. Um, that's the easiest way to improve, you know. It's easy to fix, and it's a big difference. Yeah, I didn't even uh, notice that uh, both these teams were going up against each other. I mean, I, I obviously I knew we were going to be streaming these games, but I didn't really think about who was in Ducks and Fire versus Flash. And just looking at the Tanky Sport page now, it's some it's some decent EN players. I mean, yep. they're not bad. I think they um, got top sixteen. 
Uh, so Gladiator in previous tournaments, and some of them got like seven. But regardless of the paint they got, they still play every day, and they uh, are trying to improve. So that's always good to know. True, indeed. Um, we see a ninth yeah. flag already being pulled here by um, White. What's the full name? No White. That's it. This actually feels like Deja Vu a game I'm watching. I don't know. I feel like I've seen Pepega play this map, and it was against four players. I don't know how long ago it was, but I'm actually getting like a severe sense of Deja Vu, and it's crazy. It's actually freaking me out. Oh, now you're getting me curious. Um... Yeah, I, I'm actually trying to figure out who... Um, what did game that did was. Did I stream that game? Do you know that? To be, then I can I, just... Honestly, I can't remember. Like, mm. I'm trying to think about it, but... Then I can just... I swear like... this has happened before, yeah. And that, if, then I can just, like... Uh... Try and find it. Then, yeah, I, I write down all my scores, you know, so it's just very easy to find if I stream the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. But good point, um... good point. I'm trying to search it, but I can't. Like, it's definitely a last major ranking, last major... Because you didn't uh, play for Prepega this uh, this major. Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it was last major for sure. I don't know. I'm yeah, but I just remembered it. Like mm. I was talking about um, the teams, and I saw like a certain thing happen, <laughs> and I just you know when it hits you, you're like, oh shoot. <laughs> okay, but anyways. Looks like they're going to remain to play um, this other team. I don't know if they're going to be doing 4v4 uh, or if their player is actually going to be coming now. Um, we are seeing the Hunter um, have freeze. I don't know if that was what he was using before, actually. I can't remember. Um, but it looks like um, the majority of the combinations will remain the same. I see a fifth player, though, in, in Phoenix right now. All right. Yeah, me too. Nice, nice. Good for them. Jay Legu. Yeah, I'm definitely not pronouncing that correctly, but... Yeah, Jay Legu. Nah, yeah, definitely not. But, I mean, you know, <laughs> that's the English version, so... Exactly, exactly. He can always teach us. Yeah. <laughs> I swear we had, like, a... Um, yeah, a name for him. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's very outdated. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of new players. Yeah, and people changing nicknames every single 30 minutes. Yeah, it's insane. It is. <laughs> you can't keep it. Is hard. I was talking with Avoid. Yeah. I don't know which stream it was, but I was talking with Avoid and I said, I never heard of this player. And he said, Yeah, you definitely did. It was his name in the past and this name in the past. And how you, how can you keep up with that? You know, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Um, what's it called? There are a lot of players which have changed names. Uh, I mean, I've been commentating since. I think season one of Tanky Sport, like the old season, mm -hmm. um, and the amount of players which have changed name, which still play the game to this day, but change name is insane. Yep. Yeah. Anyways, if you get to yeah, other yeah. count, it's, it's not even trackable anymore as well. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true. You just got to figure out from the community. Yep. But anyways, looks like the Viking No White managed to take uh, the OD box. Also, Miss Christmas has gone back to Shaft. Um, Got good control here from the blue side on on right. Um, they are both no repair. Also, the hunters no repair middle, but inflicting some good damage here. Od boxes dropping as well, and looking like uh, no white isn't going to be able to use. And the Viking from the red team manages to pick it up, but I think it's lagging a little bit. Also, we're seeing Style pull that flag. We've got three players stalking him right now. And he is uh, managing to use his repair. He's got to watch out for that shaft behind him and also the railgun taking him out. So that flag's going to remain there now. Yeah, Style could better just jump down. He saw Mr. Christmas coming and now it's just very easy to not return that flag. Um, and he's not being able to... Uh, like you're not able to pull the flag away. Yeah, very much so. I mean, it's kind of hard to get up there. They've got to really focus Miss Christmas. He could have scoped in, taken out style, but um, this will be a pull now. Yeah, um, take back what I said. possible capture. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, you were right, but he, he Miss Christmas, I think, just played that wrong slightly. Um, he's got to remember he is using shaft, so 
when he does scope in, uh, he will be able to keep a player in their place and uh, also know that he can uh, kill them in just one shot. Yeah, we saw Phoenix being with four once again, but J Lock uh, joined back in, but they are definitely facing some lag with all those rejoins. Um, and now with one flag be, uh, being one flag down on, on Highland, it's already a very difficult situation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the other round, obviously, they were played down the whole game, so it was a lot more trickier for them to actually get a pull or even uh, uh, return the flags that were made. But nice OD coming in here from no white. Uh, he does take out two players. Going to be... He does, doesn't go for the... Okay, he goes back for the player and then takes the OD. He's got to watch out for the hunter's center. His team's going to help him out with killing him. But no white's only one HP. And that Viking OD was pretty good. I think it took out three or four players there. Um, didn't really do much apart from remain the control they already had. Um, but hopefully we can see another pull because... It's going to be a bit boring if it's seven minutes <laughs> without them pulling in, just uh, resping them in their base. Yeah, true, true. But right now we see an um, AO9 using an OD. I didn't expect him to use there, but he felt the need to use for defense uh, um, against Phoenix. It didn't support Style, but Style is still pulling that flag, and that's a pretty good pull attempt. Yeah, 100%. We just saw four ODs come in, the Viking OD taken out. Uh, two players there, also a, hun a lovely hunter OD on top right from uh, Epoch, and um, and I think a Crusader OD, uh, but it didn't really do much since Epoch already used. Um, anyways, I mean, that's the capture I was talking about. A bit more excitement is happening in the game, 2-0, to zero, and this is the second round, and uh, they're already up. Uh, the lead from uh, the previous round where they won, I think, what was the score? Like 8-0 or 8-1 yeah. or something? 8-0 or 8-1, like, I'm not sure anymore. I think it was 8-1. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Seeing a nice Paladin OD coming in. Miss Christmas can definitely use it. It's got to use a bit sooner. And Star will be taken out there. Miss Christmas does get locked on, but he does take the OD. And this is actually quite good coming in from the opposite team. Their Viking's going to use, but he drives up the ramp there a little bit. He does take out no play, uh, one player there, but he won't be able to do much more. Mr. Christmas once again using for that Hunter. Hunter's going to be pulling the flag. Also, the Crusader has an OD. He's got to watch out behind him. Uh, he won't get the hit. Style can definitely return somehow. He is going to be using a Paladin OD Scorn. on three players. And no, why did they not pick up the flag? Style. I don't know, but Scorn didn't jump down as well, you know? So even... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> j Lop just got bored of this game. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> I was like, I don't want to get killed again. Yeah, that's also a tactic to keep your uh, KD low, you know? It's exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's probably not the best idea to do in an official game, but... Yeah. It works. <laughs> Sometimes it's time to, to try new things. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. But, um, no, I mean, this game overall, I felt like, uh, I can't remember what their team name was, sorry. Uh, uh, Phoenix, sorry. I feel like Phoenix have uh, adapted pretty well. They're not losing as much as before, even when a player down right now. But you can definitely tell the difference in uh, map control. Maybe if they had their hunter on striker and uh, the shaft on uh, thunder, they'd actually be able to push outside of their base. Uh, because right now it's uh, it's a bit hard for them uh, to get any OD control. We're seeing OD after OD from the blue side here, and like a, an example, no white managing to take it. Yeah, that's a good point. Of course, it's also the the more common way of playing um, with Cruise Real on the red side. But they choose to play uh, Ares Real. And you, uh, or Cruise Shaft, of course, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ares Shaft, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it clear for the viewers. I'm not good at yeah, doing yeah, that right yeah. now. <laughs> but No White is pulling this flag, not even using his OD. Scorn has to take over because No White got knocked out, but... Um, yeah, I think Phoenix is done. Yeah, there are three players now looking like a uh, technical defeat will be inflicted if uh, he doesn't join back. He does manage to come back. 
He didn't leave, he just refreshed from the looks of it, or lagged out. Style, ooh, nearly gets uh, killed there. Skorn also trying to use his OD. No white as well, taken out. Uh, two players with his overdrive. I'm pulling the flag once again. Um, and yeah, this is uh, quite a nice OD coming in from uh, E09. Uh, but they got to watch out for Kurupika behind them. And they do. And Epoch is also going to use his Hunter OD. So really good control here coming from anti-MM players overall. I mean... They've been dominating this round after round, really. And uh, it's kind of hard to see in uh, Highland, but um, they've been setting a good example for uh, others. Yeah, we see AO9 switching to um, Scorpion. No, no, no. He, well, he did switch to it from the beginning, but he's oh. had it for ages. He's just been hiding <laughs> oh, in the yeah. top left there. <laughs> I, I, so we've been thinking it's been shaft the whole time. Yeah, good point. Yeah, it, I'm just noticing it when he was picking up the OD box, but that's the first time I had a close look at him indeed. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just been hiding. I mean, if you tell from his uh, DL as well, he's uh, going 13-4 right now. Insane. Um, yeah, for real, for real. I missed OD Where, by him yep. there. Well, I didn't actually see it. Yeah, I wish I did, it, it was a very short OD because it like oh, smashed it through the, the yeah very quickly uh i i heard it but i didn't I didn't witness it style gonna be pulling as well he's only one hp here does get taken out masha trying to pull for phoenix that will be the first capture if they manage to do it but he's only on his own Kura Pika using an OD from a hunter only for one player, while there are a lot of options to use for more players than one. So I don't understand to use it there, especially on a player that was nearly down as well. Yeah, exactly. Try to pull a flag, didn't really work out too much. Paladin's going to be using. In a sticky situation, he's really got to hide here. Not take that railgun shot, but he goes into it, also running into all these Vikings. Not... And this isn't going to be going into his favor. He's really taken a lot of damage here. Oh. Miss Christmas OD coming in with the clutch. And he does take another OD. And there's under a minute left. Miss Christmas using again. But they won't be able to uh, actually win this game. Or possibly capture. Looking like controls coming back to anti-MM players. Yeah, insane. It's such a messy pull by Phoenix. Um, the players should already be knocked out before even touching the OD of uh, of, of Mr. Christmas. Um, but not able to finish it. It's it's such a messy game, Jack. It's insane. Yeah, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not great. I mean, you can definitely tell right now a bit more experience in this map. I I would like to see possibly them play sandbox and without uh, players lagging or uh, hmm. being down four players. Because it, I don't know. I wonder who is the better team. I've, I actually haven't seen either of these teams play. The only player I probably know of is um, Mr. Christmas, and I've seen Style uh, from time to time. But I'm not, I'm not a massive, uh, got massive knowledge on these players overall. No, yeah, same wise indeed. Um, and although. Uh, um, Wait a second. Um, never mind. Um, like, although anti-MM uh, uh, yeah. players is winning pretty hard, I can't say that they are better because we have not seen them face up really. It's just a lot of lag, yeah. a lot of issues. Yeah, exactly. And also, uh, I want to go back, uh, roll back to... Uh, who they played so anti mm players first game was against trex they won 2-0 then they played deviants and lost that uh pretty badly they then went up against family and just lost by one round um played another team which they won easily which i think was a free win and they won against horses as well and lost against pit 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 which means they're now here so they've had some ups and downs i mean um the opposite team, Phoenix, the only two teams they've won against was, I think it was a free win and also against help. Um, yeah, and de facto. Is de facto a free win? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do uh, they really play? Uh, I don't know. No, de facto. 
I don't know if they are free win or not. But, I mean, regardless, um, won them as well. But every other game they've played, they've lost uh, really bad. So, yeah. Doesn't look good. Indeed. No, it does not. But we do have the other map, possibly the final map, which will be Red Alert. Um, and we are just going to wait for the uh, operators and everyone to reset the map here. And then we'll go into it. Yep, yep. Red Alert. Who's starting on the good base? Um, let's see. Maybe that can, uh, can save Phoenix for one more round. If Phoenix is starting on blue base, it will be very difficult, I think. Um, but they are starting on red, so there is some... Yeah, they got the... So the team which is losing right now is uh, currently got the good base here. But to be honest, from what we've seen on the opposite team, uh, and team and players, they have overall control. And since they got the worst base, they do have uh, easier access to those overdrives. So I feel like overdrives really are a um, a kryptonite for this uh, other team, which is Phoenix. Um, so if they can just utilize those uh, overdrives, overdrives, and also uh, communicate, I'm sure that we're going to be seeing many pulls here. And also another thing to point out is the hunter player from. Um, um, Anti-MM players, I would say, is quite dominant uh, compared to the other hunt players, but we haven't seen them play striker, so it's going to be kind of um, intriguing to see since striker is probably one of the hardest combinations to play on this map. Yeah, it's definitely a difficult map to play um, in general, but with striker, it's uh, yeah, it yeah, isn't getting yeah. easier. It's a uh, it's a very hard turret. Do you still yeah. play striker, or is it only this rankings you play uh, uh, without striker? Uh, uh, well, no, I'm, I'm pretty much I play anything, but mm. I prefer to play striker or paladin. But to be honest, I think my days on paladin kind of <laughs> are over. I'm kind of bored of it now. But yeah, I prefer to play striker, even I though I'm not the greatest. I I do like it. Yeah, I feel like um, indeed paladin ricochet. It's like um, it's not uh, hunter strike is easy to learn hard to master and that makes it fun to, to grind it out you know get better see improvements even if it's very little and I exactly, feel like exactly. uh, like with, with, with Paladin and Ricochet you really hit a peak level really quickly and then it's just oh yeah I play this combo um, yeah. nothing else yeah. yeah that's actually a really good way to describe it I mean with striker Oh, you dropped away for a second. So I am back, yeah. I mean, with Hunter Striker, something which I would say really engaged me to it was the fact that it was one of those harder combinations to learn. You got to really like have good aim, and it's not just the aim. It's like you gotta have good movement as well because if you want to uh, hit a shot which isn't like on your target. Like, if you want to hit the wall or the floor, it, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. you have to drop a certain way, you know. Especially on Hunter, it's quite um, sensitive to uh, how your striker uh, will actually um, move. Yeah. And yeah. with Paladin, like you said, it is quite a... Um, it's one of those combinations where it's fun, but, I don't know, it can get, can get a little bit boring. But so can Striker. But anyways... We're in this possible final round and uh, looking like an OD will be going to style there, meaning both overdrives were taken uh, within the first um, two drops here from anti-MM players. And this is really good. We've got Epcot and also uh, Scorn on the right side already with uh, Scorn having this overdrive. There's four players on the right side and there's a big push coming in from left. Style could easily use here and help no white light. Uh, allowing Style to pull the flag, but focus is coming on to both those players. And a bit of misjudgment made from them. Uh, Style still has the opportunity to use here and just uh, really deaf, but he's wasting a bit of time here. He's only one shot and yeah, Mr. Christmas, I don't know what he's doing either. <laughs> You know, he's trying to, uh, I don't know, 
I really don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's waving hello with his tank, but... Pretty cool. For real, I'm doing some parkour out here. <laughs> you don't see that every What's... day? No, you don't. But we are seeing a pool, and Star also using his uh, OD here. He's a bit blocked in. He can go middle easily and pull the flag because Scorn has his overdrive. Scorn could easily focus these players here, which he will do, and this will be the first capture. Um, so already a capture being made there for the blue team, which is anti-MM players, and they already are in the lead by 2-0 currently. Yeah, quick flag capture by them, and we see APOC once again pulling. He managed to drop it down, but no one to take it over. No white now. He's pretty much blocking himself, of course, with the, um, yeah, released very long um, dead tanks rate. How do you say that? Dead tanks are laying there for a long time, so dropping down is a bit risky. But Style now has an uh, open Ooh. road. And Ooh, nice OD by AO9, to be honest. Yeah. And it's going to be killing a player, healing two players here. And this, they're getting completely dominated. Mr. Christmas left the map. I think uh, they're saying uh, technical defeat um, or like GG. I'm not too sure. Um, but looks like the game is over from the looks of it. And um, anti-MM players will be taking the win. Yeah. But let's just wait and uh, confirm with the uh, referees um, what the outcome of this match is. Yep, yep, indeed. We saw AO9 leaving already for anti-MM. Yeah. Um, so maybe... He doesn't want the crystals. <laughs> but if, if anti-MM is leaving with another player as well, we, we have a no-show for both of the teams. <laughs> for real, for real. I will That's why I'm kind of... I'm scared for anti-MM anti players uh, if, yeah. um, if they all leave. <laughs> yeah, but. don't leave early in those situations. You, you just wait, wait, wait until the... The referee just said, hey man, you won. Um, like, yeah, exactly. There's not a really... You never know it. The match is still on, mm -hmm. all we know, but never mind. Looks like uh, a win is in favor of anti MM players, and uh, they will be qualifying this round. I don't think they really get that much since it is the last round. I think they only get RMR points, from what I know. Yeah. Uh, um, I think so, to be honest. I mean, we There's can nothing... look a bit more into it tomorrow on those streams, I guess, if you're going to be here. Yeah, we'll definitely I be here, so let's do that. Good point. All right. With that being said, though, thank you, Ranking, and uh, thank you for everyone watching, and congratulations to anti MM players. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Good night.
Yeah.